Film and Video Foundation talking to... Longile Tunzi, I'm the Economic Analyst of National Film and Video Foundation. And my name is Zizi Temane, the researcher at the National Film and Video Foundation. The National Film, Film and Video Foundation is an agency of the National Department of Arts and Culture, promulgated under Section 7, I mean, Act, Act 75 of 1997, with the core mandate of developing the South African film industry. And that is done through funding across the four areas of the film chain, right from pre-production, production, post-production, post and distribution. And we also do funding for training through providing funding for various uh, training workshops and also offering bursaries to students willing to study in the area of the film industry. I wouldn't necessarily say it has changed, but I would say it has developed because previously the industry was at its infancy, but now it has moved to a point where it has got maximum recognition as an industry that has got an economic value. Just to add on what CAC has said, if you look at the past years uh, in terms of production volume, in, in previous years we would produce an average of two to five films a year. And now that has grown into 20, between 20 and 25 films a year through funding, which is received from the government. One of the programs that, programs that we'll be embarking on is uh, creating cinemas in the areas that have been neglected. I mean, knowing the, 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 the history of South African politics, the politics that our cinemas are mostly concentrated in urban areas. Mm -hmm. So now one of our, our programs is to make sure that there are cinemas in underdeveloped areas, previously the, I mean, historical disadvantaged areas like your, your townships or rural areas. So in doing so, we will also be developing audience within those areas, which will also give us a, a higher consumption rate. One thing that we currently doing is we, 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 we having road shows like, and on those road shows we show people local films so that we could ignite that interest in local films so that whenever the opportunity to put, to put in those cinemas in those areas people already will be aware mm. of, of, of those local films and they'll be able to, they, they will already be appreciating them. I think there can be a number of them. One I think would be the rise in audiences. Not only for not, not only for local film, but, but both for local and international films. Because at some stage we were sitting at about five percent mm, yes. of, of of the box office revenue, but now we at least we're sitting at eleven percent, which is one of the development. And one other thing is that it's also the recognition that South African films it's having on on, on international, international films. Okay. The kind of awards that we're winning internationally. I mean, remember that in 2006 we had to win an Oscar award. Those are some of the, the, the major achievements that we want to sort of enlist. And the other thing, I think worldwide, film is moving away from a focus point where it's being regarded as an art, but to a point where it's being regarded as a, as, 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 as a sector with economic value. And that is exactly what is happening right now in South Africa, that now film is being regarded as a sector with economic value. As much as we, we, we want to, in, to to promote indigenous films, we also need to ensure that there's economic value into the whole thing. Mm. Because it would be wrong to say we, we, we more focus on uh, the cultural aspect of it, whereas we not bring in any economic value. There has been mixed emotions about it, with people saying that it, pro it portrays South Africa as a crime nation. However, one also needs to take it to, into consideration the art form, because that's if we can tell a story that will sort of convince the world, I think it's a good thing. Films 
that have been released after the Tsotse film, which have also done well, both locally and international. And we can look into the the White Wedding, and we can also and also the introduction of animation, the Zambezia film that was in that was um, done by South Africa, which has done well internationally, which is also one of the films which you are proud of. And there's another one which was just recently um, released last year, Kumba, which is also doing very well. One would say there are two elements uh, that we can benefit from from co-productions. Co one is that our story is able to table to other territories. And once it gets there, it's it's it, it's been told as a as as, as it's been treated as a local film, local film. So it enjoys the benefits of the local film, mm -hmm. like in France where you have uh, quotas for, for for local films. So if we have a film that has been co-produced in South Africa and France, we know it have the benefit of it being classified as a local film. And the other thing would be that more money would be brought into the country from co-productions, mm -hmm. and that also leads to more jobs being created. Also leads to more. Uh, skills being imparted to locals, and then it also sells this to South Africa as, as, as a country for, for, for filming. Well, we are the only institution that has a developmental mandate, but we also have the Industrial Development Corporation which is not focused on development, but it's more, mostly co uh, commercial. And then we have the Department of Tech Industry, which offers incentive, incentives for filming in South Africa. We also have the, uh, funding. the National Lottery Sport, which also does some funding for film. And then we also have various provincial film commissions like the Houghton Film Commission, the Cape Film Commission, the Kwazulu Natal Film Commissions, which are your, 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 your provincial agencies that are also that also provide funding. With film commissions, their mandate is a bit different from us because one of their, 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 their core mandate is to <coughs> sell that particular province as a filming location. That's exactly what the Cape Film Commission does. That's exactly what the Houghton Film Commission does to attract filming, I mean filming into its own Regions. The incentives are only offered through the Department of Trade the Industry, which is a national body. And one other thing that one can mention is that I think South Africa is not more of a, it does not have a regional filmmaking like other countries have, where there's a concentration into regions. But we have only three provinces that are mostly active in filmmaking, which is your Houthi, KwaZulu Natal, and Western Cape. In terms of a location, we've got the great locations here in South Africa and it has attracted a lot of international films. Our weather is always great. You can have summer, you can have winter in the same time. The exchange rate is very favorable. So most of the people will come here because of the exchange rate, of which in turn it will create more jobs for us, for our people, our actors and actresses at the same time. And also we continue to, to build our infrastructure in terms of filming location and the great incentives that you would get from the DTI. Even though it seems as if we're gonna be, we will be competing with the UK because they have uh, revised their incentive scheme. But one other thing about us, it's also about, as my colleague has mentioned, that the, we have one of the best crews. The exchange rate is favorable, makes it favorable, and then the weather itself. So we think we, we will be able to sustain it. made a huge footprint into the African cinema. However, we are now working mostly on the first Baku, which is held every two years. So that's the only point where we seem to have made inroads. And currently, I think we're also working on a memorandum of understanding with, the, with, with Nigeria. Mm -hmm. So, but in essence, uh, filmmaking in Africa has not grown that much. What I'm trying to say is that it's not as yeah, as, as effective as it's happening in South Africa, but gradually we making inroads into Africa. So we're hoping that in years to come we'll be able to be maybe.
maybe on an equal footing where we would see more developed uh, African cinema. Mm -hmm.